To understand the compiling process in Java, let's first take a quick look at the linking process in C. Suppose in the main, you have called two functions, f1 and f2. The main function is stored in a file a1.c. Function f1 is stored in a file a2.c. Function f2 is stored in a file a3.c. All these files are fed to the compiler, whose output is the corresponding object files, which is the machine code. The linker will club these three files together and produce an exe file. During program run, a loader program will load an exe into the RAM for execution. Let's look at the process for Java. In your main, you have two methods, f1 and f2. Main method is stored in file a1.java. f1 is stored in file a2.java. f2 is stored in file a3.java. The compiler will compile the three files and produce corresponding .class files, which consists of the bytecode. Unlike C, no linking is done. The JVM, Java Virtual Machine, resides on the RAM. During execution, using class loader, the class files are brought on the RAM. The bytecode is verified for any security breaches. Using the bytecode verifies of the JVM. Next, the execution engine will convert the bytecode into native machine code. This is just-in-time compiling. It is one of the main reasons why Java is comparatively slow. There is more to the JVM architecture, which will be discussed in later tutorials.